Okay, today I'm gonna to plant some flying dragon or hardy orange seeds. I've got, I've got about 70 seeds or something like that. And these are seeds that I got off the internet. Uh, typically you don't like buying seeds off the internet because they're usually dried out and they don't do well. This guy, I trusted the way that he said he had collected and stored them. And so I've taken them, soaked them. They look plump, they look good. So hopefully they're viable seeds. We'll find out if these things do good uh, in the follow-up video, if they all germinate and everything, I'll put a link to where these seeds came from, but I'm not going to do that yet until I know whether they actually do good or not. These are a couple that I got last winter or last fall from a local guy that he had just taken a couple seeds off of his tree and planted them. And they came up, they really hadn't done much of anything. So I wanted to grow some into my root maker pots and see if I can get some better trees. And the reason I'm wanting these things is I'm wanting to grow a crop of these things because to use them for rootstock to graft my uh, home citrus trees. I got a lemon tree, orange tree, and a lime tree, and I want to be able to start grafting those, and these are great for rootstock. So I'm going to get reset up, and we'll start planting them. Okay, as I said before, I'm putting these in these root maker pots. These are the uh, ones that got the open cells in them where the roots grow out through these holes, and it air prunes the roots and gives them a good fibrous root system. They won't circle and all that. So. They work really good. I've used them before, but we're gonna see how they do. So this is my soil mix. I've got a link up here if you want to follow that. It's basically uh, peat moss and perlite, and then I've got some fertilizer and micronutrient combo also added to it too. So this mix is pretty moist. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-wet this thing just a little bit after I get the cells filled up. And I'll put my seeds in here. I've had my seeds, I think I said that earlier, I've had my seeds soaking for about 24 hours. And they did plump up. They look they look really good. I feel pretty confident about these seeds. They look pretty, pretty plump, pretty viable. So hopefully they'll do well for me. So I fill that up loosely. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give this just a little bit of water. So now I got these things wetted down a little bit and I'm just going to take a pencil and make a little hole down in the center of each hole of each cell. Tell you what, I'm just going to do these first eight here. So I'm going to pick out eight seeds. They all look good. They all look plump. So I'm just going to go with what I have. So I'm going to drop a seed down in each one. And then I'm gonna fast forward through the rest of these. I don't want you to sit there and watch me do the same thing over and over. Oops, got two seeds in that one. Watch me do the same thing over and over 64 times. So once I get those in there, I'll kind of push the soil back down around them a little bit. I've got these things all planted. I'm just gonna come back and fill in across the top. A little bit extra soil on the top layer. And then I'm gonna, I'll do the other one off camera. There's no sense in me doing both of these on camera, but I am doing two trays of these, so. So I've got, uh, I'm gonna have 64 of these planted. I'm hoping within a, a couple weeks, I guess. This is what I'm hoping. I'll start getting some germination. It's a little bit cool. I'm here in Texas and we had a really weird week for April. I guess it's storms have come across the nation, but it's uh, it's really cool. It's only getting up into like the 50s right now, but towards the end of the week, it'll be getting back up into the 70s. So hopefully that'll be warm enough to spur these things to start germinating. And then it should be warming up good by next week and get these things to come up. So uh, I'm gonna come back hopefully in a couple of weeks and I'll have some trees coming up and we'll see how they do. 
And then if they do germinate, then I'll put you a link to where I got my seeds from if you want to try some of these yourself. Uh, they're a real cool looking tree. And they're the oranges are not really good to eat, but they're a cool looking tree. The main reason I want them is rootstock to start trying to graft some of my own, uh, my lemon miniature orange and lime trees. So anyway, so we'll be back in a couple of weeks, hopefully with a follow up video. I appreciate you watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And when you subscribe, hit the little bell notification. That way you'll get uh, notified when I do updates to the videos. Anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Bye.